Hi, and welcome to the sub publishing agreements video. Please note that this is the fifth and last video about sub publishing in this season and the second really technical one. You may want to watch previous videos first. We ended up with this work registration. In this video, we will presume that this is the data imported by a client called Ladies Abroad Publisher. Now we will add a sub publishing agreement and see how our CWR changes. Let us have a look at a general agreement. Please note that this is a simplified view. Our agreement has a name, used internally, starting date, no ending date, then the data for the assigning party, and finally the data for the acquiring party. All names in this video are made up. Any resemblance to reality is anecdotal. Back to our work. We did not change anything, but now we have two CWR fields. One with our original CWR data, in the top field. And the other with the flying chicken agreement applied, in the bottom one. Let us examine the differences applied by the agreement. If we look closely, only three rows are really different. Oops. Sorry for this. These three. The first row excludes ladies abroad from collecting in Slovenia. Then an SPU meaning controlled publisher row for the flying chicken and then we have another SPT row, where flying chicken collecting shares are added. It is really that simple. With the right tools, 